Astra is the newest face in rocket innovation. It is also one of the most exciting companies in recent history. Astra is an aerospace company that specializes in rocket and launch vehicles. If you haven't heard of them, we bet you'll be hearing more and more about them in the future. But before we can discuss where they're going, we have to discuss how this major startup in aerospace technology manages to make headlines despite a rocky launch history and uncertain future. Formerly known as the Stealth Space Company, the company was officially started in 2016 by Chris Kemp and Adam London. Since its launch, it has managed to garner some significant press and some high-profile investors. Former Disney CEO Michael Eisner counts himself among Astra's early supporters. And soon, the company is looking to expand its reach. Astra Space Inc. initially started as a San Francisco-based aerospace research and design company, working on components and systems for space launches. The company boasts a diverse lineup of engineers, designers, and fabricators. However, Astra now looks to add operators to their list of employees as they move from a rocket construction company to a rocket launch company. Much like SpaceX's Starlink program, Astra is attempting to innovate our understanding of low Earth orbit and the benefits it could present to future satellite technologies. But the start of this rocket empire was the construction of their first rocket test facility in Alameda, California in 2017. Through heavy renovations, the former Alameda Naval Air Station would be dubbed the Orion and would be the home base for Astra's initial research and development efforts. In a little over a year and a half, they expanded operations to Kodiak, Alaska, where they built a launch facility and began to make waves in the aerospace research community. As opposed to Elon Musk's SpaceX, Astra is hoping to make the price entry point as friendly as possible to investors compete with a coming storm that Virgin Orbit, a Sir Richard Branson venture, is sure to cause in the low orbit space race. Throughout 2018, Astra made massive improvements to its rockets and launch system and was able to launch both Rocket 1.0 and Rocket 2.0. Both were failures in a traditional sense, as they failed to reach orbit, but the company still considers them a success, as they provided meaningful data and experience for the young aerospace company. In the new year, 2019 brought significant changes for the company. Despite being a finalist in the DARPA launch challenge, the company still managed to fly under the radar. During this year, the company managed to build their first dedicated spaceport complex in Kodiak, Alaska. For the first time, the company was beginning to take a role in their rocket's end operations after previously being used as a manufacturer for NASA and other aerospace companies and divisions. But with their own spaceport under their control, Astra was shaping up for a massive media storm. March 2020 may have been the start of a global pandemic, but it was also the month that Astra Rocket 3.0 completed its build phase and was judged in the DARPA launch challenge. Their Astra Rocket 3.1 launch was the most successful Astra rocket to date. While it came just shy of breaking the Earth's atmosphere before falling, it again provided valuable flight data for the company. This launch is when the media began to pay attention, and the critics came out. Some questioned the company's prospects as they had failed to reach orbit after several launches. However, Astra was undeterred, and less than three months later, on December 15, 2020, they launched the Astra Rocket 3.2. After some minor changes, the rocket was able to pass the Kármán line and enter space and the Earth's orbital zone. Astra was stoked by the success, as they hadn't planned on surpassing the Kármán line until the Astra Rocket 3.3 is launched. The Kármán line is vital to rocket developers, as it is the line that separates the outer reaches of the Earth's atmosphere and the rest of space surrounding us. However, the Rocket 3.2 success ensured that the world was watching, and the buzz around Astra has continued to boom. Astra found through a successful launch that their hardware and software were solid. Still, they needed to modify the mix used for launch in order to allow for upper stage propellant mixtures to receive the extra velocity that the rockets needed to make the final push into sustained orbit. The company's CEO, Chris Kemp, has said that he is confident that the tweaks will be made, and we will see another launch from the Astro Rocket 3.0 series in 2021. This is surprising to traditional aerospace companies that have thousands of employees and need months to recalibrate for future launches. 
Astra has only 100 employees and is able to make tweaks and modifications in what seems to be near superhuman timing. This is partly due to the dedication of their employees and the innovation they spread. But it is, however, mostly due to Astra's effective use of automation every step of the way. In fact, during the prep for Astra's Rocket 3.2 launch, one member of the launch crew in Alaska tested positive for COVID-19. The entire team had to be quarantined just days before launch. But due to Astra's automation efforts, it takes only five people to set up and operate the Kodiak plant to launch rockets into space. Five new employees came up for the launch, and it all went off without a hitch. Today, the next iteration, the Astra Rocket 3.3, sits in its California assembly plant, awaiting the final tweaks needed to prepare for launch. The company says it is focusing efforts to reduce cost and improve performance through rapid testing and launching throughout the coming years. And the Rocket 3.3 is only the first step. But how does the public and the larger aerospace community feel about this? Astra has its critics, but it's hard to deny their power when they have become the fastest privately funded company in history to demonstrate orbital launch capability. They beat out SpaceX and Virgin Galactic for the title, and today, they are seen as viable competition. Investors will soon get the chance to show how they feel about the new company, as 2021 has started off with the announcement that Astra is merging with the Special Purpose Acquisition Company, or SPAC, in order to go public and gain necessary funding for research. By teaming up with Holicity, or HOL, on the NASDAQ stock exchange, Astra expects to raise just shy of $500 million in order to fund their rocket projects. BlackRock, an investment company, has put up the initial $200 million as a private investment in public equity. After the deal, the company will be valued at over $2 billion. All that money is going towards Astra's plan to be launching up to 300 rockets annually by the year 2025. This puts the company closer to its goals, as founder Chris Kemp has said. This transaction takes us a step closer to our mission of improving life on Earth from space by fully funding our plan to provide daily access to low Earth orbit from anywhere on the planet. The deal isn't quite complete yet, but they hope to have the details ironed out by the second quarter of 2021. Astra is preparing to unleash a storm of innovation, and they hope that investors see the potential in their rocket capabilities. Another benefit of the merger? Astra will finally be able to turn a profit and enter the green, so to speak. The company plans to raise revenues from the $4 million it is expected to earn in 2021 to the $1.5 billion in revenue early estimates say is possible in as early as 2025. Astra hopes to one day make low-orbit launches a cheap, daily occurrence that is streamlined and routine. Through developments in major satellite technology, they're years away from achieving this and revolutionizing how companies launch their satellite systems into space. As for now, an Astra rocket launch costs as little as $2.5 million and is capable of carrying up to 100 kilograms into orbit. But a company that has a 100-year plan in the works must know a little bit about planning and timelines. If CEO Chris Kemp promises it, the track record shows he intends to deliver. For now, some investors remain wary, as there are already several major players in the field of private rocket construction and launch. The marketplace is teeming, and to end up on top, companies are running a race to be the Tesla of the low-orbit rocket world. If the competition doesn't hurt them, the constant threat of government regulation updates make the future of low-orbit satellite tech a bit of a risk. But for now, Astra is scaling up production and hoping to welcome its first commercial launches during the summer of 2021. Whether you believe Astra is the winner of the space race or not, it's hard to deny that they are becoming a force in the field. With Chris Kemp's innovative approach to automation and the rate at which they launch, they just might be able to pull ahead from the bunch if progress remains steady. That remains to be seen, but we are betting it is going to be a fun journey to watch.